What's going on, everybody? This is Kimo. We are here for another uh, podcast. I am excited to be here at the Cloud9 headquarters in Anaheim. I'm sitting uh, with some awesome people. Just just to keep you in mind, uh, this is uh, definitely sponsored by BringTheFire.com and HookahMD.com. But we are here today hanging out with one of the owners of yes. Cloud9. We got Mike here. Uh, I know you can't see him. We'll, we'll post a picture. Just kidding. He's camera shy. <laughs> but uh, we, <laughs> we, we got Hattie in the house, and we got Anna, and we got Ray. Ray? We got Ray. Just came down from Indonesia. That's yes. right. <laughs> so, uh, it's the Cloud9 charcoal rep. The Cloud9 charcoal rep. <laughs> yes. Good to have you here too, Ray. We so, make it in his factory. <laughs> yeah? It's, it's all, it's all ma- and the factory is located in Indonesia? Indonesia, yes. Yeah? So, yes. What, I mean, I guess we can hop right into it, yes. right? Sure. I mean, we're going to learn about each other today. I know it's your guys' first time on a podcast. Sure. I've done a couple, so I'm getting used to them here. But tell, tell us about the, the charcoal, Ray. What, what's so good about Cloud9 cloud charcoal? Well, Cloud9 charcoal is a pure coconut shell charcoal. Uh, we make it in Indonesia because Indonesia is basically is the biggest country of uh, coconut producing in the world with about uh, 120 million tons a year. So uh, cloud nine is a pure co- a pure cocoa, not such as there's a lot of coconut shells on the charcoal. A lot of them uh, will be infused with wood to make it a little bit lighter, uh, kind of dies out faster. But when you smoke a pure uh, coconut shell charcoal, you know that that charcoal is going to last you for the whole session. Nice. So it's a pretty good charcoal. Very good. Okay, so you would say definitely as is, is it just a... Uh, a flat charcoal, or is it actually cubes as well? It is cubes. I mean, the cloud char- uh, cloud nine charcoal is uh, so it's uh, like the, the size big, the is, fat a, cubes? is a nice. Uh, it's a flat cube. It's not a. It's not an actual cube. The cube is two okay. and a half millimeter by two and a half millimeter by two and a half millimeter. Okay. Cloud nine charcoal is two and a half millimeter by two and a half millimeter by one and a half millimeter in width, which is. Actually, a lot of people like that charcoal, mm-hmm. that size, because it doesn't really burn the head as fast gotcha. as the, the bigger cube. Yeah. Because it, it contains a lot more heat on the bigger cube. So it might, some people might feel like it, it burns their head a little bit gotcha. faster than the smaller ones. For sure. So a lot more people wanting the smaller size charcoal than the big ones. Very nice. Is it in the future, are you guys going to be making, I know me personally, I like the big cubes, but are in the future, would that... Yeah, we make for, all sizes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we, we manufacture for pretty much all over the world, but uh, you know, it, it, it's custom, uh, custom to size. whatever company, what yeah, they whatever want. size you you like. Very cool. But uh, Cloud Nine prefers the smaller size. Their customers prefer that, and it's uh, it's working very well, and it's a great charcoal for the hookah session. Awesome, cool. See, yeah, he knows his stuff. Right yeah, there, the huh? reason we go with the smaller cubes is because. Our customer like the fact that our uh, flavor lasts. And if the flavor lasts, they, they're going to enjoy it more. And, of course, they're going to purchase it uh, for future uses. And that's why we decided to go with the smaller charcoal because it lasts longer. Uh, you know, it's preference. At the end of the day, it's preference. You prefer the, the, the bigger cubes. Some people prefer the smaller ones. But for us, we use it in-house because we, we prefer that the the... the, the you know, uh, flavor lasts longer. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So t- tell us about Cloud9, Cloud Nine, Mike. Nine. <laughs> uh, it's a... When did you guys get started? How'd you get started? Why'd you get started? I, I want to know. I want to learn. I like learning about, you know, the story behind the story that nobody knows. Well, uh, the history of, of, of uh, Cloud9 is only four years old. But the history of, of me and the business is since 2001. I was one of the first people that manufactured the hookah tobacco in the U.S. We actually, when we manufactured the hookah tobacco, it, it, uh, there was only one brand being imported from Egypt, and it was the Nakhli Double Apple. Nakhli Double Apple, yeah. And then we manufactured, we came out with, with uh, several brands. Uh, Sultan was one of the first brands that the U.S. had. And then after that, we came out with Splash, and then... Uh, we worked with several people that are currently in the industry. I'd rather not mention names, but uh, they've all learned the know-how of how to make the tobacco from our concept. 
So, so you the, said you were one of the first people to bring... I, I was the first person that manufactured a hookah tobacco. Nice. Undisputed. Number one. Yes. Wow. So if, if, there's really? a, Number one. if there's a name for, for, for a first person beside Godfather, then I'm the Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so that's, that's wow, how... that's cool. Yeah. Um, and everyone in this business I'm familiar with, and if you mention my name to, to anyone in this business, they will, they will you know, uh, they might not... Uh, uh, they might not agree with the concept that we, we do a business, but I'm sure they would agree with the fact that um, we were the first people that manufactured the uh, hookah tobacco in the U.S. For sure. You always yeah. have people that won't agree with well, the concept, you know, right? Uh, you know, that's, that's part of the business. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So then when did you start um, saying like, all right, I'm going to launch Cloud9. I'm going to do my own brand. and, and In make 2012, mm -hmm. that was the, the concept and the, the business plan was, uh, you know, drawn in 2012. It takes a little bit of time for the processing. It's not as easy as it used to be in the past. Yeah. It's very regulated right now. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people think that you can, you know, make uh, a brand between a night and a day, and it's a lot longer than that. Yeah. You know, uh, for a company to start uh, manufacturing right now, I would say it takes two years just to get the process, the documentation, the process going. So that's why it took a little bit of time. Uh, we launched it in uh, August of 2013. Okay. So by by August of 2016, we'll be actually three years in business. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. I, I think like more and more like, I mean, I grew up on, you know, my dad smoking nakhla. And, yes. You know, like, yes. It was only double apple. It was double yes. apple. I yes. want double apple. You know, that's it. That's all he smoked. And, I, I remember. I remember <laughs> we were, we were. When we came out with the concept for the hookah tobacco in the U.S., we only came out with five flavors beside the double apple. Yeah. And, uh, and then we, uh, we were fooling around with some drinks, drinks flavors, and that's how we ended up coming up with the drinks flavors like strawberry, daiquiri, pina colada, and, and that's where the concept came. Yeah. And then after, after that, a lot of other companies came into play, and uh, they ended up copying us and making their own flavor, which is good for them. You know, it's... Yeah. That's uh, that's part of doing business, you know. Uh, when you're successful or you have a concept that people like, they end up copying you, and and some succeed, yeah, and and passes you. But in the end of the day, you know, we we still hold the the, the first uh, uh, mark for making the tobacco in the U.S. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I I know the feeling because we I know Hattie was asking me earlier like, well, what do you guys do, right? So. Bring the fire for for you too, Mike. Like we're, we're, I know you don't know too much about us. We're a hookah catering company, so but everyone here is hookah catering. Okay, cool. So you do private parties and stuff. Yes, we do private parties and weddings here and there, but most of our business is inside nightclubs. Oh, okay. So we were, I want to say, the first in like California to three years ago, um, get our foot into the nightclubs and and start serving hookahs and excellent. Um, people do coffee and. Good luck to them. You yes. know, it is what it is, right? Yes, Nobody is copies somebody that's not doing something right, is. you know? Yes. So, but that's cool, man. Okay, so how many flavors do you have now? We're up to 65 flavors. Holy cow. Yes. Uh, it's going to take me a lot of bullets to try Yeah, to well, it. you know, we, <laughs> we, 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 we like it. We enjoy it. I mean, we're all hookah smokers, and, yeah. and we believe in, in making something that originally we're going to like. So we test it. We smoke the hell out of it before before we we put it out i think i saw you smoking when i was yes, coming in exactly. <laughs> this is my 13 bowl for the day for the, are yeah. you serious are you yeah, being serious so, i'm serious holy you know, cow so, so hey i'm a hookah smoker so you keep track of the bowls I, I keep track i keep track of course you gotta slow down Mike. Uh, yeah. uh the, the thing about it is is to give you a little bit of history of our business plan for the future is we realize after looking around and checking what what the market acquires we are going to scale down on our top flavors. You, you are not or you are? We are. You are. Okay. We threw the 65 flavors out there. And out of the 65 flavors, we have hot sellers. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, pre prefer, prefer flavors. So we're going to put all that together. And I think we'll probably end up with about 25 flavors where everybody will ask for all the time. Not necessarily that we're going to discontinue the other flavors. We're going to keep it. But it's on demand. We yeah. manufacture it locally. We don't import it from anywhere. So everything that you smoke in Cloud9 is something that's made in, in Orange County. From tobacco to uh, flavors to packaging. Uh, so we, we, proud, we pride ourselves in, in, in making this uh, uh, brand locally. And we don't import 
uh, anything from uh, out of the U.S. That's awesome. So everything so, in the U.S. So right? everything is made cool. in the U.S. And that's why we have more control of what flavors we can make and what flavor we can uh, discontinue. Yeah. You know, so. that's awesome. That's awesome that you, I mean, you throw up a lot of stuff at the wall. Yes. You know, like in bi- yes. I'm sure you've had maybe other businesses or you yes. still run other businesses and you always throw stuff, see what works. See and then what you keep, works. Yeah. exactly, exactly. Uh, cool. And, 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 and we're, we're fortunate. We believe we're fortunate with our, with our followers and our fans and the people that, that purchase cloud nine. Uh, I can tell you that, um, um, most of our customers are return customers, and that proves that we did something. Yeah. Maybe our exposure is not as big in the U.S., but uh, it's because we we uh, when we originally started, we started with Brazil, with uh, uh, Russia, mm-hmm. with the Switzerland, with Germany. We even imported. Uh, uh, we even uh, uh, sent product to China. You know, and 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 we have a small. Uh, uh, you know, base in China where people like our product too. So, th- so this is where we started. We started internationally, yeah. And and this year we started to focus on on the U.S. The US. as far as marketing. Yeah. Even though our product is made in the U.S. 100 percent, but we like to, uh, we wanted to uh, uh, serve the demand that we got originally when we started from uh, international, and now we're we're focusing on marketing in the U.S. That's awesome. Yeah. So you guys are, and you're still providing international. Of course, yeah. of course. You know, with with you know options here and there with some changes in the flavors and you know like some brazil likes everything that have to do with mint so we custom mm-hmm. make it you know custom make their flavors to include mint and then you have germany that ha- likes the sweet flavors so we we custom make our flavors to to uh, serve internationally in the us there's a variety of smokers so yeah. there's a lot of people like almost everything so that's why we ended up with 65 flavors but I, like i said out of the 65 flavor, we know that we have 25 flavors that are selling all the time. What are like your top 10 flavors right now? Uh, we Sky Mix is considered one of our, our top flavor, and it's our signature. We have uh, uh, 3D Apple. A lot of people said it's comparable to some uh, flavors that's out there that comes from the Middle East. Because 3D Apple is, is, a, is a, 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 a more of a... a the Nakhle smokers and the Fakhir smokers, you know, that smoke the double apple. So we, we wanted to go more into tradition, so we came out with the 3D apple. And then you have uh, My Lust, you have the Caribbean watermelon, you have the Pineapple Express. These flavors you don't go wrong with, and, and they've been selling uh, very hot. Um, you have uh, 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 Peach Pizzazz, which is basically a, a, a peach uh, uh, flavor with, with the melon. Mm. Um, and then you have some of the mint combination flavor, like the Just Mint uh, was uh, uh, voted number one in California among people who smoke mint. I've actually had customers that called me and asked me if we can sell kilos to to uh, to the end user, and we don't do that. We only sell to smoke shops and and uh, lounges. Yeah. So okay. they they would they would have to go to a lounge. Uh, to uh, smoke the just mint or go to a smoke shop and buy four cans to get a kilo because we don't we don't sell kilos to the is there a particular reason why you don't sell to the end user we don't like to compete with our customers we want to make sure our customers are happy and that whoever wants to order they have to go through them okay it's just more of a business plan we 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 don't want to take a you know uh uh we believe that we have a mission here, and our mission is to manufacture and send to the distributors and the smoke shops. So in their end, they can send, sell to the end user. That's why if you go on our website, you'll realize that we don't, we don't sell to the public on our website. Yes, I do see that. And there, and there are other you know, companies out there that do sell their own products on their website. Well, it, it, it's it's kind of I, I you know nickel and diming you know and I and we don't believe in nickel and diming our customers. Our customers come first, our fan base comes first, our our end users come first. But at the end of the day, you have to have some ethics in doing a business. Yes. Every, so basically, your 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 philosophy is everybody gets to a piece of the pie. Of course, of everybody course. Gets, you know, everybody you, gets to eat. That, if yeah. if you if you go into business thinking that you want everything, you you'll end up with nothing. Mm. And that's and that's something that we we don't believe in. We you know and that's why, in regards to Cloud Nine, we tried not to make the same mistakes we made in the past and the previous companies we worked. What mistakes? What mistakes? Basically, uh, <laughs> I like to know, right? Because yeah, sure, you, you sure. go through the I troubleshooting I'm, and I, I and you mind, learn from. I don't it. mind sharing. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, we were um, very uh, trustworthy. 
So anyone that will actually visit us, we would walk them through the factory and show them how the concept we make it. Mm. And then, uh, you know, uh, two months later, you'll hear that they they opened their own uh, uh, factory <laughs> and they copied us to the T. Yeah. So that's something we don't do anymore. And gotcha. that's why you won't have a chance walking through our factory. All you right, know? all right. You can yeah. trust me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Know, you. No, I hear you. you. It's just that's that's something that we we'll learn. You Absolutely. asked me what I learned from my mistakes. Yeah. And, and also. Uh, uh, being loyal, loyalty is very important to us. If we have a distributor in a certain state, uh, uh, I've, I've always used this term not to disrespect uh, anyone else, but I say if my mother called me from that state, I will have them go through the distributor and buy the, the product because in the end of the day, I gave him my word that he's going to be the distributor. Mm. You know, and that's where, we, we, that's where our loyalty comes in. You know, that's that's, awesome. Those are the mistakes that we learned from the previous uh, six companies I worked with that six have to do with the hookah tobacco, wow. which I'm not going to name. Right. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, don't ask me. Who. I won't ask. I won't ask. <laughs> it, it looks like you want to say, but you. No, I'm not. I'm not going to sure that's anyone in the industry that yeah. knows that knows Mike or hears this uh, argument or this uh, claim. He would know exactly what companies. I've known Mike for a long time. I know that he started a lot of the hookah companies that's in here. And he's the main source of all the hookah tobacco that's in the U.S. to the first one to who started it. And, uh, you know, all the biggest companies out there is basically the, the copy or, or somehow took the, the learning procedures from Mike. Everybody knows that in the industry, and whoever denies it, I'm pretty sure <laughs> they cannot really face them and say that. <laughs> and and what do you what do you do here at Cloud Nine? What do I do? Yes. Hadi, this is Hadi, right? Yes. H A D I. H A D I. For all the ladies out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, now I'm the boss man. <laughs> no. <laughs> boss mint is named after you. Yeah, yeah, boss man. That's my that's my flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, uh, I'm a sales rep. I started out a few months ago. Um, I started doing the Cloud9 uh, in the beginning more, and then I, we're gearing tor more towards the vape, but we'll talk about that a little later. But yeah, I do the sales for Cloud9. We, I call customers, and I go and visit clients and distributors, and we show our product to people and stuff. Yeah. Very cool, very cool, yeah. man. So, and then you also are heading out the vape line, right? Because now Cloud9, there's tobacco, there's coals, or were the coals before or after the vape? No, the calls was before. We, okay. we, 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 we decided when we came out with the, with the tobacco that we want good charcoal to use it for the tobacco. Like I said, uh, you know, um, if I'm not enjoying it, I'm not going to work in it. And right. when I sit down and smoke my, my tobacco, you know, which is something that I enjoy, I wanted to smoke it with good charcoal. And that's okay. where, uh, you know, we decided to go with the gentleman that you see here, Rawi, who's making our charcoal in, in, in Indonesia. Because we wanted good charcoal. And since we've started working with him, we, we got the best charcoal. And that's how it, it, it became part of a, uh, a family where we, we had the charcoal, the tobacco. And then the industry changed and we, right. have, to, we have to adapt to the change. Yep. And now we came out with, with a line called One Vape. Mm -hmm. And One Vape is a premium liquid that we use from you know several flavor companies that we work with and that's also made in the u.s that's made in the u.s mm -hmm. and made you know uh in orange county and uh, uh just so you know we're very proud of the fact that all our product is made in the u.s yeah. you know and if if there was a way that we could make the charcoal in in the u.s we would have find it but indonesia has been very good at, at you know producing the the least harmful charcoal and that's why we didn't go to china because china has charcoal but it has a lot of sulfide in it and sulfide is something that, that would harm you okay. so we decided is, is that the same sorry to interrupt you Mike. Yeah. is that sulfide is that the same like the ingredients maybe in quick light coals? yes okay yes that's what sparkles and yeah. makes it sparkle and that's why you notice when you light the 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 the, the quick uh, coal it, it makes the smell right and and we we've, we pride ourselves with our charcoal being 99.9 percent .9 uh natural gotcha so there's that one 0.1% where you need it to, to ignite it. For sure. But uh, you won't feel it. You, you, you won't t it won't change the taste of the flavor, and you won't feel it on, on your tobacco. Okay. Also, one more point for the uh, coconut charcoal. This is a, a charcoal that comes from eco-friendly, very environmentally safe type of charcoal that you don't cut any tree to actually uh, make the charcoal. This charcoal comes in from uh, renewable energy that grows every year, and... 
there's uh, no waste in it. So it is a, a truly 100% uh, pure charcoal that's eco-friendly, that does not harm the environment or kill any trees to actually make this charcoal. That's awesome. Because a lot of companies do say that, right? Oh, it's 100%, 100%. But in reality... There is a lot of companies that would claim 100%, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of... Uh, the industry gotten so big, and uh, there's a lot of people that want to make that quick dollar. And, right. Uh, so there, there's a lot of infusion with uh, in, in this charcoal right now in the market that infused with saw dust, which is very compatible to the kind of, uh, you know, whatever dust that's left out of the wood and they kind of make it into a charcoal, infuse it into the coconut. And is that why sometimes like you'll have a, your tray is full of ash. Uh, full basically. of ash or a lot of times uh, if that charcoal hits any kind of moisture, mm -hmm. it will light for a little bit and then it shuts off. Gotcha. Okay. And you said you've known Mike for how, how many years now? I don't know how many years. It's been, it's been a long years? time. About ten years ten plus. Years, yeah. Yeah. It's like me and Vince yeah. here. Yeah, okay. I've, uh, yeah. Uh, a little, a little history. When, when, when I went to tell us uh, the dirty stuff about Ray. No, right no. It, <laughs> I met him. I met him. I met him at, at at a convention. Okay. You know the convention for the tobacco. Uh, a lot of conventions. That's where uh, we met Hattie and, yes. and Anna. Yeah. Um, about. Ten years ago, I would say maybe ten or eleven years ago, when I called them to 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 exhibit, they they didn't know what was the hookah tobacco is all about. I had to literally uh, do uh, some homework and 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 print some documentation to explain what is the hookah tobacco, so we can display our first booth. Uh, I was the one of the first people that actually went to an exhibition and displayed a booth of hookah tobacco. And and lighted a hookah tobacco in, in, oh, in the show. Yes. I was just gonna ask you that. So that means you were the first. I uh, I, I, I I can <laughs> I could uh, you know I could definitely assure you that I had to I had to make uh, 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 some printout on 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 the history of the hookahs and where did it come from to send it to to the to the people that were in charge of the exhibit exhibitors so they would they would not consider the prefer, paraphernalia. Right. Because at that point she was like, "Oh, you mean there's a lot, yeah." Yes, and I was like, "No, that's not what it <laughs> so is." So it's a bong. It's no, a, exactly. A lot they of had people, no yeah, clue. Yeah. So yeah, and that's where I met I met Rawi. Rawi was one of the, he was uh, exhibiting for charcoal at the time. And, oh, and yeah. And then you guys just built that friendship yes, and stayed exactly, together. Yeah, and we we decided that we're gonna work together. And then when I came out with Cloud Nine, he was the first person I called to. To make our cloud nine charcoal. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Keeping it, you know, the ethics, the loyalty, yes. the friendship. Yeah. Loyalty, remember? Loyalty. It's, it's loyalty. Absolutely. Yes. So, do, do you guys bump heads sometimes? I know me and Vince bump heads sometimes, but we all at each other. But I still love you, bro. No, we we uh. we, 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 <laughs> we compete healthy. You know, we compete healthy because he has his own line of charcoal, and we compete. And you know, and it's competition is healthy as long as you know you you respect the boundaries. You know, and and we believe in that, and that's why. A lot of people uh, ask me, it's like, oh, I've never heard of Cloud9. I say, it's okay. Yeah. You will. You will. Uh, you know, it, it, because we're trying to build this one step at a time. We're not here today and gone tomorrow. We're trying to build it to, to, long, to long lasting. We want to do it the right way so uh, people will know our product. And, and if it's going to take time for them to, to try it and build the confident that they're just not buying another hookah tobacco brand. They're buying something that we we put a lot of hard work into it. And 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 again, if we don't like it, we won't put it out. For and sure. If we don't smoke it and love it, we're not gonna we're not gonna put it out. For sure. So what's uh I like that, man. This this is yeah. what, you know, I know you were asking, like, what's a podcast? Everyone's like, what what are we doing, right? <laughs> when Vince first told me we're doing a podcast and he would send it, I was like, what is that, bro? What are we doing? Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> but this is cool because I uh, me, for example, I would never know about this, about, you know, all this and everything about your, you know, tobacco, number one, your background, number two, and then the viewers, too. The viewers and the listeners, they like to know, and it kind of makes them, when they're smoking Cloud9, they think of Mike, they think of Hattie, and, you know, they think, oh, well, I'm smoking these coals for a reason, yes. and uh, I like to just put that all in perspective for everybody. And we do sell the Cloud9 uh, charcoal on our website right now, yes, Hook MD. Yes, cool. so we are supporters. You can go cool. to hookmd.com yes. and buy some. Uh, All right. Try try out these new charcoals. Okay, so out of the thirteen bowls you smoked today, Mike, <laughs> what, <laughs> were they all, were they thirteen of the twenty five flavors, or well, were they mint? I mean, what, what's your flavor? What's your favorite? Sky mix. My Which is flavor, what I'm holding yeah, in my hand right exactly. now. Exactly, sky really mix good, is actually. one of my favorite. But uh, uh, 
we we have we have different we have different flavors that we 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 try to adjust and we work on uh, uh, um, that sometimes I have calls from from owners of hookah lounges that wants me to try a custom flavor and they send it to me and they ask me for my for my opinion and I try it mm -hmm. and 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 they ask me if I can uh, make something similar to it so like like I said being being in this this business for for the past 13 years it gave me a little bit of uh, you know advantage of the newcomers to this business that I know how to mix a bowl and I know how to come up with a flavor and I know how to come close to a flavor that people need and that's where you know so most of the time I'm trying something new I'm mixing uh, we like to create some mixes for some uh, customers that we have that they want to know if you mix like boss mint with something else so we try some mixes with some flavors and sometimes it works and sometimes it's 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 hit and run you know yeah and uh, uh, so that's that's what that's I how do. you get to smoke 13 balls a day yes. right yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm, I'm trying it out I'm some, testing I'm working some you'll take <laughs> 10 puffs some you'll take one puff and yeah and that's okay. it yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. but you know too like I noticed like you know I tried a few cloud nine flavors I don't know if I tried the sky mix but I'm trying it right now and it's really good like and I'm not saying that because I'm in your factory. No, but hey, <laughs> get out, get out of here. <laughs> no, honestly, it's it's really good. The flavor's been lasting. It's been a good like 15 minutes or so right now, I or know. no, like 20 minutes. But it's really good. Is there like blueberry in here? Or what, what, oh, we can't tell you that. Oh, okay. Can't tell you that, Kimo. The, <laughs> the hidden. You'll hidden figure flavors. out. You <laughs> no, it's really good, man. It's really good. Do you have a preference, Hattie? Or uh, my favorite flavor is the Scoozy flavor. It's like a sweet Skittle-y flavor. Yeah, that one's really good. For sure. It smells really good. I haven't smoked it yet. Oh, but my I God. Smelled, I swear, really every good. day I come here and I smell Scoozy every single day. Nice. That's my, that's my tradition. So it's like a, a Skittles rainbow type flavor, right? Yeah, basically. So that's one of our best sellers at, at the nightclubs as far as uh, like we, we have a, a rainbow flavor for, for the vape that we use. and Because we, we don't use, everyone thinks, oh, you use hookah and tobacco. That's how we started. Yeah. But to be inside the nightclubs... True. Can't you, you gotta you got it has to be electronic sure and, and vegas that's fine they get away with it you yes. know um yes. but so we use a lot of e-liquid and, and i'm excited to try some of your guys's yes. liquid too yes. uh but yeah our, we have a flavor that's just skittles rainbow and, and everybody loves that flavor is that also available in, in the vape like uh, or something similar well we have a lot of we have three fruit flavors in our vape we have three dessert flavors one tobacco and one menthol so the the fruit flavors they're they're different, but one of them's like strawberry, watermelon, bubble gum. One of them's a pineapple grape mix type, and then one of them's um, a cantaloupe, mango, and papaya. Very cool. So yeah, they're all different fruit flavors, but That's we don't cool. have a, a legitimate like rainbow flavor. Yeah, we, maybe we'll come up with Coming something up like next. that. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Well, what about um? I know a lot of people in the industry right now are like switching over, or not necessarily switching over, but they're throwing out their new line of like dark leaf tobaccos, right? You know, you. We know all the names out there, right? There, there's a lot of dark leaf out there, and it may be stronger to the more expert smoker, they say. But um, is that ever something also in the future for Cloud9 to make some dark leaf tobacco? Well, we, you know, if that's a question I can ask, I no, know. of course you can ask. You can ask anything. We, we our our business plan is an open business plan. We we don't hide anything. And when we decide to come out with something, we 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 we're not afraid of saying it. Like like I told you, we we. Um, we pride ourselves with, with taking time and, 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 and trying the product and, and uh, uh, testing it, making sure it meets our standards, mm -hmm. and then we put it out. We're not perfect, and if someone says they're, they're per perfect, you know that they're lying. Sure. So we have, we have our mistakes. Uh, we, I have been approached by, by international customers that want what we consider a high nicotine flavor. Okay. And again... Uh, I custom make flavors for 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 different you know uh, uh, international customers, mm -hmm. so I, I'm I'm venturing into that. I'm actually working with the original uh, 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 traditional flavor, which is the double apple. Of course, and that's what we're testing right now. Awesome. We're not ready to go to production with it, but as soon as we 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 are, it will be available for our customers, and we'll we'll post it on our Instagram and and Facebook. And can we can we help you try out that? dark leaf or the more traditional sure sure <laughs> was, was that one of your 13 today no no, okay. no. I, uh, that that requires to smoke it by itself gotcha that'll I'm, be I'm the 20th not, <laughs> i'm not a nicotine fla uh, smoker okay so if i'm gonna make that flavor i'm probably making it for for the, the people that are asking for it like our customers for sure. but i personally enjoy the 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 
non-nicotine, uh, uh, low nicotine, I'm going to say, okay. because it is it is tobacco. Uh, our, our tobacco has the, the least nicotine to, uh, uh, out there in the market. Really? I didn't uh, know that. That's I, a good point. Well, I, I uh, like, again... So my wife would like me to smoke this one. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> we, 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 you know, our tobacco is, is, is uh, French flu cure, Virginia tobacco. And uh, uh, um, we like... You know, uh, um, we like to tell our customers, which have doubts about nicotine, that, that, you know, that the hookah tobacco concept for us is totally separate than what's out there. You know, a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, uh, uh, um, conception about smoking hookah, hookah tobacco. For us, we believe that it's still one of the, 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 the best out there uh, as a concept of smoking. If okay. you don't smoke, I don't encourage you to smoke. Right. But if you smoke, I encourage you to try our Cloud9 tobacco. Now, let me ask you that question because a lot of people, they do say, you know, nope, smoking's bad or hookah's bad. And they have that conception in their mind like, you're still smoking. You got. Yes. I mean, I understand there's nicotine, of course, right? But what separates, you know, that person that says they're really anti against it, they compare it to cigarettes. You know, we have all these TV commercials now. Sure. My kids are watching TV and... Oh, daddy, that's the hookah but you smoke, compare, you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> what can we tell those listeners right now? Can you go into a little bit of detail about that and let them know? I mean, the, I mean, a lot of people think, you know, that they go and say, uh, if you smoke a hookah, it's like smoking 10 packs of cigarettes, which is truly like false information. Because basically they, they're comparing how much cloud you could you could blow out of the hookah in about an hour and a half versus how much cloud you smoking out of cigarettes. But cigarettes have thousands of different kind of chemicals in it. When you smoke hookah, it's a pure, pure tobacco. There's no additive to it. And the, the, the amount of nicotine that's in this tobacco is the lowest in the world. So when you compare French tobacco to any other tobacco leaf out there, like dark tobacco, which contains a lot higher nicotine right. level, but you only smoke in nicotine that's very, very low, which is 0.02% nicotine. 0.02%. Yeah. And, okay. and at the same time, you have an, a, a pure filtration in the water. When you smoke in, when the smoke goes in the water, it it filters all the nicotine. That's why the water gets a little bit yellow after smoking the hookah from the nicotine. And you've taken in pure tobacco. And the reason why you notice that is if you smoke cigarettes right. and you smoke a pack of cigarettes, you cough in your lungs out the next day. But you could smoke 10 balls of hookah and the next day you, can't even, you won't even cough once. And if you do, it'll be a very little cough. Right. So, I mean, you could tell that by smoking cigarettes versus hookah. Try a pack of cigarettes and then try 10 balls of hookah. And then you'll see the difference yourself. For but sure. Let's do it. Truly, and again, I've been smoking not, hookah for 20 years. We're not promoting <laughs> it. We're not promoting smoking if you don't smoke. I, I, oh, I want to I I go on, on the record that we are saying for the smokers that smoke uh, cigarettes, that uh, between cigarettes and hookahs, we believe, and this is only our opinion, we believe that... Um, Smoking a hookah is, is lesser harmful than smoking cigarettes. And because of the filtration and because of the tar and because, you, you know, of a lot of factors that, that is not in the hookah tobacco. But at the end of the day, if, if, if you know, if, you, if you're not smoking and we don't, we don't recommend that you smoke, yeah. but we recommend that you take the least of the worst, which Absolutely. is the hookah right. tobacco. So it's definitely a good line for beginners, I would say, if they want yeah. to get their feet wet in hookah and understand it get some cloud nine if you don't yes. smoke that's good but if you do smoke then life's good smoke up you know? right yeah <laughs> cloud nine concept. baby that's yeah, right yeah. smoke up <laughs> and actually there's a lot of people that who could help them quit smoking like uh, they you know i know a lot of smokers that now they smoke hookah they don't even carry cigarettes anymore. yeah and which is you know i mean i wish my dad you was cannot, one but... <laughs> you cannot carry a hookah with you all the time and smoke so right. if you're gonna enjoy a session every once a night like Every day, you go you go home at night and you want to socialize or you know chill and relax. You smoke a bowl of hookah, yeah. but you're not carrying smoking two packs of cigarette every day right, because right. the more you the more the longer you smoke, the more you smoke. Yeah, but hookah you could sit a week without smoking a hookah and it's fine. Right, but you know if you do smoke it once once a day, it's not like smoking a pack of cigarette a day. For sure, there's a huge difference. 
Mm-hmm. And that's kind of I like how you said you can socialize and chill, and that's what that's what hookah meant to us. That's what hookah is actually. Yeah. That's why it's been it's been in the culture of the Middle East, and I mean it generated in India, and then it moved into the Middle East. But it is, uh, I mean, you cannot go anywhere in the Middle East without having like a hookah it, somewhere. It's like a Starbucks, <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> There's no house that doesn't have a hookah. Exactly. You have to have a hookah. Yeah. Because if you're sitting among friends, all you want to do is just chill and relax, play a game of cards or socialize a little. And yeah. you have something to puff on and enjoy that kind of, you know, that aroma and the, the smell and the taste of a fruity flavor. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. No, I agree, man. And in the Middle East, if you want a hookah and a tea, it's a dollar. Over here, you want a hookah, it's $15. <laughs> you want a tea, it's five more dollars. Yeah. You want a soda, that's three bucks, man. <laughs> it's a lot, a lot more expensive, man. Yeah, yeah, money talks. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Very cool. Okay. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. I think we've learned a lot today. I don't know. What... I mean, yeah, let's, you know, let's try, you know, Anna, I mean, what is your, what is your duties here and your background and, you know, how did you come to Cloud9? Of course. Hi, guys. Um, well, I've been in the business for seven years now. Uh, this is my second job ever. And um, so I'm kind of familiar with the, uh, the hookah business. I Normally, what I do, I take care of distributors and international. Um, and hi, guys. Hi, Snapchat. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, what I do is mainly take care of uh, customers that are ordering big volumes. Um, and of, of course, if I get hookah lounges and smoke shops as well. Um, and I do mainly like sales and marketing. I play multiple hats here. Um, I do a little bit of social media as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've been in the business for seven years. I've been to trade shows, been to Germany. So I know what works for every country and every state because every state's different. And as the backbone to this company, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, I'm the backbone. Yeah. I'm the <laughs> boss. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the difference like with Germany, United States? They're, you know, what are, what, are, what, what are they like in Germany? You know, what do they see hookah as in Germany? Uh, what I noticed in Germany, they like uh, mainly the flavor. The flavor. They like strong flavors uh, versus here in the United States. I noticed that a lot of people just like the smoke and doing smoke tricks and pretty much more smoke. That's what I noticed. And that's why vaping, I think, has become such a phenomenon, especially in California and in the U.S., because vape produces a lot more clouds than hookah does. But traditional hookah smokers like for the tobacco flavor, the vape, the hit it gets you in the throat. Vapes generally give you more clouds, more production. You could play with the smoke more. And the flavor, it's, it's a little bit different than the tobacco-type flavor, you know? Yeah. Do you do a lot of uh, smoke tricks yourself? Oh, I do. I'll show you. Yeah, you got to record that. <laughs> There you go. He vapes all day. I vape 30 minutes after I wake up till 10 minutes before I go to sleep every day. <laughs> Holy <laughs> every day. Every, I wake up, yeah. And did you get into vaping like prior to Cloud9 or are you just... Yeah, yeah. I've been vaping during... since they've had those little uh, little tiny e-cigarettes that were shaped like cigarettes. Yeah. So like since the beginning, yeah. yeah. And they started coming out these funky mods and these crazy like atomizer tanks and all this. And I've been into that since since then, yeah. It's crazy nowadays, yeah. man. It's, Maybe it's, Maybe there'll be a Cloud9 mod or something. Yeah, maybe one day we'll make <laughs> mods for Cloud9. Yeah, Hopefully. Thank you. Yeah. That'd be one cool. vape, you know? Yeah. So is it mostly you two that like are kind of running the show here along with Mike and, and Ray? Uh, or do you guys have a, a, a big team? Or uh, We also have two other guys. Uh, they mainly are in the field. And Celine as well. Uh, she wasn't able to make it. So we're about five people to six people. Very cool. It's all about the team, right? Because yeah. I mean, right. Like if you don't have like a strong team, I know we're jumping. No, I guess it relates to, no. to business, right? Yeah. Because like I know me when me and Vince teamed up, you know, we got two other uh, gentlemen that are actually owners in the company, you know, as well. And then we got my brother-in-law, Danny. So shout outs to you, Danny. I'm giving you some recognition, bro. <laughs> you know, he, he, he he's our Anna. You know, uh, you he, he ha- everybody no, needs an Anna in their every, life. Everybody needs an Anna. I mean, he really does a lot behind the scenes that nobody sees, you know, and the storage and everything like, you know, because we have two storage facilities now and like we got over 200 hookahs that we got to maintain and he's in there maintaining and, and doing all the cra- the scheduling. So I, I know, I mean, I don't want to say I know what you do, but it's right. a lot. It takes a lot. It is. It is. That's I cool. play multiple hats here. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's 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 huge to have a good team around you, man, and the good people. Because if it if not, then everything just kind of falls apart, you know. Yeah. Right. That's cool. Anna doesn't clean the hookahs though. Uh, <laughs> is that is that what you, makes you do it? That's what I do, and we have another dude. Shout out to Jesus. Jesus, my boy yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I can. Wherever he's at. <laughs> Very cool, man. Yeah. What's the motivation behind Cloud Nine? Motivation? Like, yeah. What's the What's the purpose? Like, I know Mike was talking briefly about it being loyal. Have you know having? You I know, love his concepts. Yeah. Yeah. Ethics, loyalty. Yes. It's awesome. What what is the motivation for you guys to be behind Cloud9? Oh, okay. Um, I mean, you want to go, Hot? You got take it. it. You got it, Anna. Pretty set, go. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Anna. Well, I mean, just making everyone happy. Uh, pretty much trying to make a flavor for everyone. Um, just customer needs and I don't know. Yeah. You want to say something, honey? Yeah, uh, I'd I'm say... I'm a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, well, like, like I'm... I'm <laughs> Like I've said, uh, I've been smoking hookah for a long time. Uh, I'm still young, so since you were 12, since right? I was 12 years old, we don't I'm condone still, that, but you know, yeah. <laughs> and like I'm only 15 now. <laughs> no, guys, I'm 19, just for the record. Okay, uh, but yeah, I've been smoking hookah. I smoke Fantasia, Starbuzz, Fumari, Nuchla, Alfacher, all the brands that I haven't tried Tangiers, but I've tried the other ones. And honestly, Cloud Nine, when I smoke the flavors, it has the sweetest, sweetest taste to it. The most, uh, the clouds. Cloud nine, you know, good clouds, clouds from, from the smoke. Yeah, clouds are there. That's for and sure. I really think we pride ourselves on trying to be the best hookah brand in the world. Okay. And we'll get there one day. Okay. And what what is, you know, what are you guys' game plan? What's what's the game plan for Cloud9 for the rest of the year, two, three years from now, four years from now? What's the game plan? I'd say get the word out there. Get the get the tobacco in, into the hookah lounges and the smoke shops. We try to target the hookah lounges a lot because that's where people go and socialize, and then they'll go to the hookah lounges. They'll be like, hey, I just smoked that hookah. Where can I get this? Then they'll go to the local smoke shop and be like, hey, Cloud9, I'll pick up that, that scoozy or that, that Caribbean watermelon or whatever flavor they liked at the lounges. And then we also – there's like distributors that, that we also sell to that would sell it on their website or sell it to other smoke shops and, and other lounges. So that's how we get the word out there. Yeah, I mean, ever since we came in contact with you guys at the TPE, I mean, by far, you guys have great customer service. Thank really you. good Thank you. customer service. Uh, you know, there's you know, times where we were like, hey, you know, this one, this flavor is not too good. And, you know, because we, we want to make sure that if we're out there, you know, providing this product to people, we want to make sure that we stand behind you guys and you guys stand behind behind your product as mm-hmm. well. And we want to make sure the end user, you know, are happy. And I think that's the most important thing. Just like when we do our business, we want to make sure our customers, uh, the venues that we are at, everyone's a happy person. Everyone's, everyone's in a win-win situation. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's, I think that's really, really important. So I get Hats off to you guys. You guys have been freaking awesome with the customer service and everything else. Um, Thank you. And so let me ask you this. All right. Compare. Uh, I wonder why I wonder I'm just going to compare. That's, no, you, that's, that's, I mean, that's, you can, that's, you can that's, compare that's, if you, it's okay. No, no. I wouldn't want to. No? no. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> it's healthy competition. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want... I don't want you know crazy people going out there saying <laughs> and stuff. You know, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not the thing. But your vape, mm-hmm. uh, it's made here, mm-hmm. here in um, Orange County. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, I was talking to you briefly before um, Anna, and you guys were saying it's been selling like hotcakes ever since you guys launched it. Sounds yeah. like a good flavor. Sounds like hotcakes. 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 There you go. You got that from chemo, right? Yeah. Bring the fire edition. Hot. <laughs> the hotcake flavor. <laughs> and I understand that you know Mike was saying it's premium, but I mean, what separates your juices, the e liquid, from everyone else? Well, I mean to brag, but you know, <laughs> no. Uh, I, I, <laughs> go ahead, brag. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll I brag a little. See, I, I feel like I have a lot of experience in the vape and hookah industry, at least as a as an end user. You know, I've been I smoked all the like I've tried other vape brands, Clutch Vapors, Cutwood, Ruthless, uh, Cosmic Fog, and all those. And we have eight flavors, and legitimately, all eight flavors of ours are money. They're all they're all delicious. They're all I'd vape them all day in my vape. And I don't get sick of them, and I I don't even buy new flavors anymore because I think our flavors are, are premium, and I don't go to vape shops anymore because 
you know, why, why go to a vape shop when you got a premium e-juice that, that tastes really good and it smokes really well, you know? Or should I say vapes really well, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, as far as, like, I'm talking, I'm talking into the hookah instead of the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, now, as far as, like, um, your, your cut on the... On the uh, on the tobacco, is it like more? I mean, I've I've packed a couple bowls of Cloud Nine. It's it's more like a uh, almost like a fahir cut, right? Like it's not super thin, it's not super thick. Do you know a lot about the cut, really? Or, um, well, the cut on the tobacco is more of a. It's not like a super loose cut, mm-hmm. but it's not super tight either, and packed in tight. A fox is a little bit packed in tight. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. They, they right, have right. a different style. Uh, but our style is just, it's its our own way. We have our own cut. Like some, well, people think that you, you, the stems, you know, the stems actually aren't good for your hookah, but the stems actually hold the flavor in it a lot. I didn't know that. So yeah, the okay. stems actually hold the juice and hold the flavor. So, so when we, I find a stem in the tobacco, don't pick it out. No, don't. I mean, you don't want the whole thing smoking. You don't want to be smoking right, stems right, the whole right. thing because it burns the leaves. But okay. the stem actually holds the juice and the flavor because if you squeeze a stem, mm-hmm. then it'll probably squeeze juice out of it if it's a juicy tobacco. Gotcha. And ours is a pretty, pretty average. Like it's, it's not, I wouldn't, I'd say it's slightly uh, above average for juiciness, mm-hmm. but that's what holds the flavor. And so that's why I think it's really good. And yeah. how do you pack a bowl of Cloud9? How do, do I, you, like me personally? Yeah. Do you guys like, I like when I, I know me personally with, I guess every tobacco, I always kind of put it a little bit on a napkin and just damp it a little bit, yeah. damp the juice, and then I like to pack my bowl. Oh, so, okay. I mean, do, so you, do you try you to get rec- out the juice? What's kind that? Of, you I try, try to take out the juice a little just bit. Just a little bit, yeah. I don't know. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Teach me. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Anna knows I take a long time. I take pride yeah, in making it my... It takes own. about 30 minutes <laughs> yeah. to pack a bowl. Yeah. No way. Yeah, but then it'll smoke for a couple hours. So, That's good. Yeah, I'll pride yeah. myself on so that. So why? I want to know that Hattie... Actually, I'd love to have Hattie on our BDF <laughs> Mix and Match show. Yes. Uh, that way you can pack a flavor from A to A to Z and then we can smoke it and then we do can a little also tutorial have it on for, your, for your fans. That'd be awesome, yeah. man. I'll yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, what I like to do is I like to strand out every leaf and try to break break down the pieces as much as I can. You know, like not I don't need they don't need to be sliced super t- super crazy, but like I'll, I'll spread them apart with my hands and I won't take any juice out. I'll take the juiciest part and I'll try to put it in the middle. So the bottom part of it, I'll, I'll strand it out and make sure nothing gets through the through the holes in the bowl. Okay. Okay. And then on the middle and the top part, I'll still strand it out and make the juiciness on the top so it doesn't drip too much on the bottom. And then at the top of the bowl, I lightly tap it down with my finger just so it doesn't go too high and touching the foil because I like to keep a very thin layer of air, space between the foil and the tobacco. Very cool. And then when I put the, to the foil on, I, I try to squeeze it as tightly as possible on the foil because I don't, I don't like... How sometimes the foil jumps up or it goes too low into right. the bowl. Yeah, so you want it flat on there, and you want the tobacco really slightly below the foil line. Yeah. What about um, packing? Do you guys always pack it in an Egyptian bowl? Do you prefer Egyptian bowl versus like a funnel bowl? Um, like a normal traditional bowl. Traditional bowl versus like you know like I like now smoking. I like funnel bowls the a fun- lot. Yeah, you know, I guess um, I feel like the juice it doesn't drip down into the hookah and stuff like that. But I mean, have you guys packed it a lot in funnel bowls or not too much? I personally haven't packed funnel bowls. I'm sure well, it's you like, will on the mix and yeah, match show. Bro. Yeah, I'll do. It, I'll do whatever. Yeah, I'll learn a little bit. But yeah, I usually use the traditional heads, the clay heads. Yeah, and um, they they really work well for me personally. And I've been smoking those a long time. I do apple heads and orange heads and other stuff like that. Pineapple, nice. grapefruit. But uh, did the, you pack these bowls we're smoking today? Uh, no, I actually didn't pack oh, these okay. bowls or smoking. I was going to say, out. it's pretty good. Yeah, Whoever yeah. packed it. <laughs> I don't know who did, but hats off to them. Jesus, yeah. okay. Yeah, he did a good, he did a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he did a good job. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'll try the funnel bowls out, though. I'm sure those work really well, too. Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. Smoking some hookah, sorry. Very cool, man. Um, well, I, I don't know what else to say, Vince. I think we learned a lot today, man. Um, unless you have any other questions, do you guys you have guys anything? You guys watch basketball? Yes. Yeah. He does. He's a huge who's, basketball who's your fan. Team? Lakers. Oh, that sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, but you know it's okay. We got Luke. Oh, you got Luke uh, Walton. You got Luke Walton. <laughs> Hopefully, he comes through. Um, you know, D'Angelo. I, I still pissed uh, off at him. D recording. D recording. But uh, other than that, we, we look like a promising team. Uh, I don't know if you saw yesterday's Wars game. Oh yeah, I saw that. that. It was a really good game. Steph Curry's out. You know, Clay came through the clutch at the end, um, and defense, man. I think defense yeah. won championships, so I think it's going Absolutely. to be either uh, the Warriors, OKC, or the Spurs. You don't think the Cavs got a shot to win it? No, because I'm a I'm a I'm a LeBron. Fan. I'm not a Cavaliers fan. I don't like the Cavaliers, but I like LeBron James, the King, chosen one. 
you know. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, defense definitely wins championships. And I know this is a hookah podcast, but, you know, when we get into basketball, I could talk about it all day. So No, man, yeah. this is an everything podcast. Yeah, oh, we we everything. shoot the shit here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we can shit cuss, we... fuck shit, ass, like, You can say whatever you want, bro. <laughs> um, Balls. This is, yeah, there you go. This is, this is keeping it real, man. And so yeah. people know who Hattie is. So when you're emailing him or Anna's emailing him or talking to them, they're like, oh, okay. This guy's cool. He likes basketball. I like basketball, yeah, too. You know what? Sure. I want... Two, you cool. know, tobaccos from you. Yeah, two tobacco. <laughs> I like sit that. There, I like sit that. there, watch a game, smoke some hookah. Yeah, dude, anytime, anytime. Go on dates with Hadi. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I got a girlfriend, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cancel. Talk about, how long have you have you been with your girl? <laughs> you want me to talk about <laughs> We're getting personal here, right? <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> long walks on the beach, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been... Two weeks now. <laughs> yeah. oh, sure. Never mind. Next podcast. Next yeah, podcast. We'll, we'll podcast. see. <laughs> I'll ask you, you that again. There's, months, there's yeah. still the honeymoon stage. <laughs> How about you, Anna? Are, are you taking for for the listeners and viewers here? No, I'm single, guys. All right, Ooh. there you go. There you go, guys. Shout out to Anna. Hey. <laughs> Very cool. Oh man. So, what do you guys do out on your leisure time? Do you guys go to a lot of hookah bars? Do you because you're around hookah so much? Like everyone thinks that we, right? You ask, do you guys smoke every day? And it's like we try not to. Yeah. But if we do, we'll it just ends up cloud happening, nine because right? it's lower in nicotine. Uh, <laughs> it, just ends up, it just ends up happening, honestly. It does, smoke, man. Right? Yeah. You're working. You just pack a ball. Yeah. You're just smoking. Your friends hit you up. You don't want to say no to them. You just go to the hookah bar. And exactly. Stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, I, I'm free time. I do play a lot of basketball too, and I smoke vape. Yeah. For sure. We'll have to get a game with you, man. I wanna yeah, give, I want to give a shout out to to bring uh, the uh, bring the fire. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Thank you, Thank you Mike. Uh, um, I do have previous arrangement. Uh, thanks, guys. We ap- appreciate you guys coming and uh, 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 stay in touch. All right, for sure, nice absolutely. You guys. Good, learned a lot right. from you, Mike. Yes. Thanks for coming. And, or thanks for coming. And thanks for being here and having us actually here, and learning and exploring and actually understanding a lot about Cloud Line. Now I can. Be happy to tell my wife it's lower in nicotine. Yeah. <laughs> Use us as an excuse. Absolutely. This I is will. what it's all about. I'll point it all to if, you. If you want, give her my number. I'll call <laughs> hey, he said so. He's okay. He's he, like, oh, Mike, Mike is the guy that said so. Yeah. All right. Sure. Thanks, Mike. It was nice meeting you. And thank you, Ray. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Oh, nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Good stuff, Mike. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Yeah. You want to wrap it up? Let's cool. wrap it up. Right. Any any last comments, words, anything you guys want to say to to the viewers out there, or the listeners out there? Shout out to my boy Kimo and Vincent, and Thanks shout out to Gabe. I don't know who you are, but you seem like a pretty funny guy. He, he's a yeah. funny. He's he's, he's a funny guy. Boy. What happened? To him? Why is he not here? Uh, he you, you know what? You here? I'm gonna I'm gonna just yeah. Let's Facetime I'm gonna, him. I'm gonna Facetime him right now, <laughs> so he can be on the podcast because <laughs> on a podcast we can do almost almost anything we want. Yeah, but actually. Um, Gabe, we've known Gabe. He goes by Hero as well. I don't know why, but he goes. I don't, you know, I go by Chemo because a Kareem is a Chemo. Yeah, but it makes more sense. You know, whatever. Hero sounds fucking cool. We all trying to have a stage name. Yeah, you know, <laughs> got our stage names. What's your stage name though, Vincent? I don't have a stage name. Really. You do. Yeah. You don't want to well, say it? No, I mean, they, they call me... Vinsanity. No, <laughs> yeah. Vinsanity. We, we have called them Vinsanity. Vinsanity. Yep. Uh, yeah, just a couple of times I've been little Vinsanity. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they call me VD. VD? VD. Like venereal disease. <laughs> <laughs> I know he didn't yeah. want to say it. I know. That's why I was like, if you want to say it, man, go ahead. Yeah, it's just his initials, first and last name. So It works but, out like that. But we've all known each other, actually, for like over 10 years. Like my boy, John. Uh, shout out to Johnny. I mean, I've known him for like... 15, 16 years, you know, wow. Vince, it's going on like 11 years now, you know, so my kids, I got three kids, I got three daughters, you, you know, have three so kids, I got three, yeah, oh crazy, right, goodness. you have three kids, I got so three, young. thank uh, you, no. yes, thank you, <laughs> yeah, I got three, three girls at home, wow. or four, including my awesome wife, Congratulations. thank you, man, Congrats. thank you, thank you, so it's like, you know, having my girls around them, you know, growing up, that's Uncle Vince, Uncle John, Uncle Gabe, you know, which is cool to have that, again, like, loyalty or team around you because it's family uh-huh. and sometimes it's tough working with family yeah. but there's a way to make it work you know and but uh i just wanted to say a little bit to to try to cover up the noise while vince is calling game <laughs> <laughs> i don't think he's gonna pick up but uh you'll get to meet him for sure at a, at a mix and match up we can even maybe come here yeah. and, and set up the camera and I don't want to take you away and have Mike get mad. And, uh, <laughs> Our doors are always open. <laughs> you know, we'll have some bowls laid out here on the desk and 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 pack some uh, some Cloud Nine, man. I'm really, I, I really am enjoying it. I don't know what flavor, 
I got to see what we tried. I know I, we tried Habibi. Just Mint and 3D Apple. Uh, Habibi and Mint. Is that one Habibi? This is the Habibi. It's a mixture. Habibi, I, lo- I really like Habibi a lot. Uh, I'm really in love good. with this uh, the Sky Mix. Bro. Sky mix. Uh, the Sky Mix is really good. I'm not sure what flavors are in the Sky Mix, but it's, <laughs> <never know. laughs> it's, it, it's good, man. And we have been smoking it. What I like is um, what Mike was talking about. We have been smoking it for a good 30, 45, however long this podcast it's is. Still going, you know? It's still going, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The charcoal's still going. You guys want to stay after the podcast, light some more coals? Oh, let's do this, bro. (laughs) (laughs) I got to check with the boss lady. Oh, Oh, Anna you're talking about. Oh, 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 Anna? (laughs) My boss lady. Oh, your boss. Okay, okay. Yeah, Yeah, man. It's it's tough juggling sometimes, you know? Like, it's, it's, there's, I think we were saying there's like no balance or... You have to have balance, but it's hard to juggle yeah, it's, business it's like, it's, and family in, and life. In life, like something I've learned is, you know, work, life, leisure, having balance, it's all bullshit. It's it's all integration. You got to integrate it into your life. Um, Make the best out of everything you can. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah just, just, you know, just got to balance. Just balance is, a lot of people say, yeah, you need to have balance, but I don't think that it's a, tr- a true statement because... You know, even even on like vacations and people go on vacations or take take a trip. You know, if you're a business owner, if you love what you do or you do what you love, it doesn't seem like work. Like right. what I do, it doesn't seem like work. But I'm working my ass off, but it doesn't seem like work. But you enjoy it. But I enjoy it. Yeah. Um, and it's also the same thing with any business owner or any body is working. It's like, hey, it's not. Sometimes it's not really work. It's really just having you know just you got to integrate it with your life like i have fun you know um you know i'm i'm working my butt off now so i have a little bit more time later to spend you know my wife has one bacon in bacon in the oven right now have a daughter on the way yeah and so both married yeah, both married. Yeah. Both married. Actually, nice. all four partners in the company are married. Oh, Mary. Heroes with married. Car- Heroes yes. married. Oh, don't tell me Heroes married, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, Heroes married, and he's got twins coming on the way. Oh. Wow! In a month wow. or two. Congrats yeah. to him. Yeah. 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 And so yeah, we're. I mean, we all work our butt, butts off, and you know, we all have. You know, John has four kids. Um, you know, <laughs> so uh, we're, we. Besides the business, besides working, besides podcasting, doing the show, I mean, we also want to spend time with our family, mm-hmm. enjoy the moment. Um, and I think that's the most thing. That's why we work. I think that's the reason why we work. We work because we want to have that time to spend with our family, mm-hmm. to make the type of money to spend time with the family. Yeah. Right. Uh, and same thing with you guys. I'm, I'm sure if Mike didn't pay you, you guys probably wouldn't be here. Right, you guys don't want to work for free. Right, I mean, depends. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't want to see my paycheck. <laughs> uh, but that, that's the thing. That's the thing with you know, in this business and in everything. No, but I mean, you, you probably you did, uh, he's saying you know you don't want to see my paycheck, but you probably do it because you know that you have the end goal in mind, right? Like, wow, Cloud Nine, like you're. I don't want to say you're in the beginning stages. No, you, yeah. you see the vision. Yeah, yeah you yeah, see definitely. the light at the end of the tunnel. Definitely. You see what it will. You know, you you see what Mike done with other companies mm-hmm. out there, and you're like, hey, don't want to say any names. <laughs> but, if, <laughs> but if you're able, if you know, if you know, not when or if, but when he does that with Cloud Nine, you want to be part of. Yeah, I'll be part of the growth. Your growth. Yeah. Yeah. With with great growth, there's always opportunities. True. And I'm still young, and it's like I'm happy. I honestly, I legitimately feel like I, I love this industry. Like, I, it's a passion of mine. Dude, so. tell me one fucking job that lets you wear shorts, basketball <laughs> shorts, some Nikes. Some, Funny looking socks. Some right, cool ass Legos. Lego. Lego socks. Shout out to his brother. Yeah. And, you know, and a t shirt. Every damn day. So. Get my shirt up right now, but every damn day. Every damn day. <laughs> every damn day. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's. The type of environment you guys have, I, that's one thing I noticed. I mean, Anna looks more professional. She's, you know, just <laughs> great. <laughs> and you're like, oh, okay, cool. But that's, but that's the environment. That's a good environment. You know, they let you be who you are, and they let you go out there and make sales, produce, and that's the type of environment you want to be in. An, an environment where they allowed you to be who you are and allowed you to put your skills, your talents, 
Could you, you know, allows you to learn more things. So that way you guys can grow as a pe- person. And, then and build company. relationships with everyone too. Yes, and guys mm-hmm. grow with the company. Right. Okay. And that's, that's the best thing. So I'm, I'm, anything else, Kimo? No, I just had to get a picture of his socks for Instagram. Uh, all right, cool. <laughs> and then, you know, we'll take some hey, pictures. Shout out to Silky Socks. That's my brother's company for the Is socks. Yeah, Silky, Silky Socks. socks. Okay. They actually have a kiosk at the block. At what? The, Silky Socks. Yeah, at the block at Orange. So if okay. anyone wants to go check that out. So Is it online? Right. It's online too, SilkySocks.com. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, and so how do people find Cloud9? How can they follow you guys on Facebook? How do they follow you guys on Instagram, Snapchat? How do they... F- how do they get in contact with you guys? Uh, go like us on Facebook. It's Clown Nine Tobacco. Instagram is Clown Nine Hookah Tobacco, and Snapchat it's Clown Nine Shisha. Okay, cool. All right. Any Twitter? Twitter Clown Nine Tobacco as well. Okay, awesome. And I'll put that in the show notes as well, um, and then we'll blast it over social media so people can follow you guys. Like, you know, like the page, share it, pass on to someone that you know, um, and lounges and they can find you get in contact with you lounges distributors online retailers yes they can ask for clown nine at their local smoke shop or hookah lounge if they don't carry it we'll try our best to have it in their closest smoke shop or lounge mm-hmm. okay cool and soon they'll be able to pick it up their favorite flavor on hookahmd.com oh, as well. yes okay, okay. yes we're, <laughs> yeah, that, we're, yes really, it's our website that we're, sorry, we're launching any um, relation to webmd no, no. <laughs> no, we, no, but we are your hookah doctor. Oh. Yeah, we're the, the, we're the hookah doctor. We're the cure to your hookah needs, and um, it's gonna be, there's there's gonna be a lot of cool things in there. It's gonna be different from all the other uh, retailers out there, online retailers for um, for hookah and shisha. It's gonna be a little different. I'm adding a lot of cool things to it. Um, as you can tell, like I'm, you know, I got, I'm the guy with all the equipment, yeah. the cameras, right. equipment manager, the Asian guy, you know, <laughs> the Asian guy. Oh, so we can be a little racist. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. racist. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I honestly wanted to ask a question. I don't understand. How do Asian people have such big calves? Oh, I swear, like big calves. Like, I swear, like calves. Like, like, like I That's not all that's is, big. Bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I had to I, back up my boy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> The rumors are not people. true. Yeah, all the all the Asian guys, these guys are little small guys, and their calves are ginormous. You know, you know what? It's probably because they've been squatting all their life. You know, the Asian <laughs> squat, doing the in the rice fields, and they just oh, pass on. I was gonna say that. Right. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but you know, I, I work out too. I mean, oh, okay, okay. You know, people think, oh, you know, you smoke, you can't be a legitimate, you know, athlete. You know, you smoke hookah, that's bad. You know, I I just fucking did jujitsu this morning for an hour and a half. And then I ran for, you know, I did a 5K, 3.2 miles uh, right after at the gym. So wow. if anyone says you can't do hookah and you can't be an athlete, you can't train, that's foolish shit. Yeah. Don't, li- don't listen to them. Look at, look at me in the example. <laughs> you inspire me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to work out one day. I know. My elbow's been like, like I, got, I got caught in Kimura today. My elbow's been hurting me. I so. don't know what that is. Sounds rough, though. It's a Kimura. Yeah. Yep, um, it yeah, it is. Yep, this is called now. It's a lock. <laughs> it's a lock. Yeah. We can try it. We can we can do oh, it out later. I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we'll we'll post this up. Um, and we'll, we'll put it in the show notes. Get in contact with you guys. Um, you guys have any questions for us before we end the podcast? When are you guys coming back? When are you guys want? Anytime. Very soon, cool. man. Very yeah. Smoke yeah. hookah here anytime. That's okay. Awesome. Doors Perfect. are open. Yeah. All right, Thank cool. You guys, I'll man. give you my my cell phone number. You, I'll give you my address, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, the cool thing is, like, maybe you guys can come out to some of our events. You yeah, know? We, we have a lot of events. Um, we, if you go on our website, bringthefire.com, under locations, we do about 35 events a week. So on Friday and Saturday night alone, we could do eight to nine different nightclubs and different night scenes. So it'd be awesome to have you guys come out, chill, really see the environment, see what we do. Yeah. It's uh, A lot of people don't understand it. They just think, oh, you're at the nightclub gym. But when they see it, it's like, oh, shit, I didn't know you guys do this. So. Yeah, we do sponsorships, too, with red carpet and everything, cameras, pictures, all of that. So. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. That'd be cool. We'll have a Cloud9 event at, like, yeah, Fuego Rooftop. Yeah. That'd be dope. Just let us know. Yeah, anytime. No? Okay. Yeah, we can. That? Yeah, I can. I think oh, okay. we can. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I'm not just saying that. Right? <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we post this up everywhere for you guys. Um, yeah, and we'll come back for sure. We'll come back and do another podcast with you guys. Um, Kimo? Oh, 
just a couple of things before we, we end the podcast uh, for those listeners out there. And if you're listening, we are we're going to show you how we built a business uh, on a part time basis over the last three years, you know, where we built a company that's over six figures, um, low overhead and a bunch of profits. Uh, we're going to put out a course to show you exactly what we do and how you can actually make money serving hookah, partying, smoking, drinking um, at nightclubs, bars, venues. And like, like we said, we're going to put, we're going to lay it all out on the table and how we got from no events, zero events, zero money to making close to $300,000 a year. Um, and so we're going to show you guys that uh, it's coming out on May 15th. So make sure you follow us on HookahMD. Go to HookahMD.com, sign up for our newsletter, and we'll go ahead and email you the updates. The uh, If you, you sign up now, you get promo codes for special discounts. Anything else, Kimo? No, just make sure to pick up some Cloud9 tobacco when it's available on our site. But yes. also right now, they can purchase the Cloud9 charcoal. Yes. Yeah. Are you guys going to carry one vape too? Yes. We'll carry one vape too. Perfect. Damn right. We're going to carry Damn right. Damn straight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we don't want it um, to... It, it's tough, right? Like Mike was saying, like, you know, there's a lot of people in the industry and, you know, you never want to, like, knock down or hurt another company by any way, right. you know, or anything like that. But we feel like we want to help everybody eat. Like, I mean, if we have somebody go to our website and they're like, damn, why isn't Cloud9 on here? No, we don't want to... Like, yeah, buy whatever you want, you know? Like, we're we're an open platform where we're just... We want to love and be cool with everybody. That's why at TPE, we walked around, mm-hmm. talked to you guys. We just wanted to meet and talk to everybody. The hookah matters, industry. Right? Yeah, yeah, everybody matters. You know, when we sat with Hayes Tobacco, like... Yeah, you know, we went to headquarters the party, headquarters hookah. Yeah, all those guys, man. Everybody just loves everybody. I mean, yeah, it's all competition. We're all going after the same thing, though. We're all doing something for, for the yeah. consumer and doing, you know, doing good stuff in the industry. Yeah. You guys went to that Hayes party? Yes, we did. That was a big sausage fest, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was. A lot of guys sitting down smoking hookah, yeah. but it was awesome, man. They they really took care of it. It, it was cool. Um, everything was paid for. I mean, open. I didn't know it was open bar. Open bar. It was open bar and open hookah bar too. It was cool. So really fun. Nice. So it it was just an. I think number one thing we want, especially with the podcast, with our BDF mix and match, with our Udemy course, um, and everything that we're doing here, we just want to bring everyone together. I know it's you know there's always politics. Of course, any business, any industry, there's always going to be politics. You know, Samsung doesn't like Apple. Apple does like Samsung. They sue, sue each other all the time. Mm-hmm. But um, at the end of the day, we all want to make money. Like Kareem said, we want everyone to eat. We want everyone to be happy. We want everyone to be successful. Um, and we want to promote the people that are going out there and just doing just that. You know, just being good to people, good to the end user, customer service, and just helping out one, uh, helping out each other. That's the number one thing, and you guys are just doing that right now. You yeah, guys cool. are, you, you guys, guys are, are like a huge example book. of that. You guys I learned too that today, big time. Yeah, you guys too. I like the the way you guys talk, the ethics you guys have. You guys are cool too. You guys are chill. You know. Thanks, man. I'd hang out with you guys if you guys would let me. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Come yeah. Yeah. If you're available this Friday or Saturday, come out to one of our events. Hell yeah, man! Friday one Saturday. one day, one day, my daughter might call you Uncle Heidi. Your daughter. Oh, my daughters. <laughs> yeah, daughter. Oh, okay. When you have yeah. your daughter, you know, they'll play yeah. with me and VD's yeah, Uncle daughter. Chemo, Uncle VD. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, man. Well, I just want to say huge thank you, guys. I know we took an hour out of your day to sit here, hang with us. I know you guys yeah. might still have some work to do. Sorry, Mike. Okay, right <laughs> off the bat. Sorry we took them away. But hopefully somebody out there listening, watching, get some good feedback. They learn, you know, some great info about Cloud9 right. and uh, pick some, some silky socks from the block of Orange. <laughs> yes. yes. Also, sure. guys, uh, Cloud9 is a zero-risk company. So if a product doesn't move for you, we do take everything back. Oh, so so yeah, just cool. keep that in mind. We have no minimums and free shipping on the first order. Very cool. Sweet. Nice. Good to know. We'll put that in the notes too. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, cool, guys. guys. All, right. All right. All right. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Cool.